Microsoft OneDrive's tutorial, how to use OneDrive for beginners. Welcome to this comprehensive tutorial on Microsoft OneDrive, designed specifically for beginners. In this guide, we will cover everything you need to know to get started with OneDrive, including your basic setup, navigation, file management, and collaboration features. So let's jump right in. Now, what is Microsoft OneDrive? Well, it is a cloud storage service that allows users to store their files online and you can access them from any device with an internet connection. This means whether you're using your computer, tablet, or smartphone, your files are always accessible. OneDrive supports various file types, including documents, images, and videos, making it a versatile tool for both personal and professional use. Now to use OneDrive, we need to create a Microsoft account. And if you already have an account from Microsoft, which might be your Outlook email. So if you have an Outlook email, you do have a Microsoft account. You can use that to sign in. But if not, you can visit OneDrive and then click on create a free account. Once you click on create a free account, you can proceed with your Microsoft account creation. And I already have a email, so I'm just going to proceed with my pre-existing account and I'm just going to click on sign in over here to access my OneDrive. Now, once you have created your account on OneDrive, you can move towards the navigation pane. On the left side, you will see options like my files, shared, recent, and your recycle bin. Then after that, you will see a file view option where you can choose how you want to view your files, whether you want to view them in a list or a title format for easier navigation. You also have a search bar, which allows you to search for anything on top to easily find a specific file or folder. Now let's go on ahead and start uploading our files on OneDrive. To add your own files on OneDrive, simply click on new and upload on the top left. You can directly upload files or upload a complete folder. You can also create your own folder and then select the files that you want to upload. I'm going to upload a complete folder. So I'm just going to go on ahead and search for the folder I want to upload and all the content within the folder is going to be uploaded. This has 14, 15 items. So it's now uploading the folder called makeup into my OneDrive. Now you can drag and drop your files directly onto the OneDrive window for quick uploads. So you don't have to manually select everything. If you drag and drop something here, it will be added. Now, once you have created your files, you can proceed and you can click on your My Files tab to see all your files. Now in my makeup folder, I have a bunch of different things, but this looks like a mess. So to make this easier for me to navigate, I can proceed with organization. To create some organization in Microsoft OneDrive, you can create folders. For that, you're going to click on new on the top left and then select folder. Once you select folder from here, you're going to enter your folder name. Let's say I want to categorize images based upon whether they are WebP or JPEG images. So I'm going to add JPEG over here. And then once I do, I can move all the images that are JPEG over there. I can do a simple drag and drop or I can do multiple images together by selecting them from the left side. Once I select them from the left check mark, I can drag them and then move them into the folder and then all of them will be moved together. Now, whenever you select any type of file within OneDrive, you will have a menu bar on top. This menu bar includes a sharing button, a delete button, a move to button, copy button, download, rename, add to album, as well as three tabs which allow you to embed, add view version history, and edit the tags of that item. Now, moving on, let's go on ahead and take a look at the different features for sharing. So for this, you can select an entire folder. You can select a couple of different files if you only want someone to have access to limited files and then click on share. Once you click on share on OneDrive, a pop-up will open up where you can enter a name, group, or email. You can choose the permissions that the other person will have, if they can edit or if they can view only. You can also add a message and you can click on your settings on the top. 
This allows you to choose link settings. So you can also alter other settings by including things such as expiration dates and passwords. Now you can click on anyone or the link can edit and you can proceed with anyone that has a link and then you can create a shareable link. You can also choose if you only want people that you've added manually to have access. Now if I click on copy link and I send this link to anyone, they will have basic editing permissions for these two particular files. It's not going to be for the entire folder or the subfolder. Only the selected files will be accessible to the other person. So it doesn't matter if you're trying to categorize everything when you can provide limited access and ensure that your security is not breached. Now, other than that, you also can collaborate in real time. With OneDrive, multiple users can work on documents simultaneously. You can open a document stored in OneDrive, and once you share it with others, collaborators can make changes that are saved automatically within that document. So to do this, I will go into my OneDrive home, and you will see Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. If I go into a new and upload, and click on Word document, this will open up a Word document in my Chrome or in my web browser. Now I can write this Chrome document like I normally would. So like I would normally use Word, I could be using Word and I can click on share on the top right and share it via email or share it via a link. Now when I share it via link or email, other people can also simultaneously work on this document and it is going to be auto-saved, which we can view from the top left. And it is auto-saved into our drive, so we don't have to worry about the hassle of sending documents back and forth between team members. You can also manage file access and permissions and view the version history of a document. So if you need to revert changes made to a document, you can click on that document. And once you click on that document, so if I go into my files and go into the makeup files, and I'll go again and I click on these over here. I can see I have the version history as a drop down menu item. I can click on this item to view the modified date, who it was modified, and what size the file is. Additionally, you can also delete and restore files. So there is a 30 day deletion time before a file is completely deleted from your recycle bin. So you can select any files you want to delete and click on delete on the top. Once you do that, they will be put in the recycle bin on the left, and after 30 days, they will be automatically deleted permanently. You can select them from your recycle bin and then click on the restore option to restore them back into their original space. And just like that, you can get started with Microsoft OneDrive. The best part is OneDrive is available for free with upwards of 15 gigabytes of mailbox storage and 5 gigabytes of cloud storage. Then you can upgrade accordingly to your usages with their basic, personal, and their family plans. Thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and make sure to check out our other videos to learn more about using Microsoft and its other tools. Thank you for joining us and happy cloud storage!